Good morning guys, this is Katie and welcome to another weekly vlog. So it is Monday, I just realised my skin looks really bad today, I felt like the it's been quite polluted in Bangkok but it's got better, but it's really dry still, so I feel like I need to really like, moisturise my face, maybe I'll do that this evening. Um, but yeah, it's a Monday morning. I've just come into work, it's like 10 to 7. To be honest, I'm feeling a bit stressed. I'm not going to be doing anything to do with work, but I am talking to some of my friends back in China from my old school. And obviously, if you've been watching the news, this is going up quite late because I put my weekly vlogs up later than when I do them. But um, at the moment, obviously, the coronavirus is spreading around China at an alarming rate and they have closed down the old city that I used to live in, Tianjin. They've like closed, like they've cancelled a lot of flights, they've cancelled a lot of trains in and out. It's, it's very near Beijing, so they've cancelled all the, the trains from Beijing to Tianjin. And um, I was just talking to one of my old friends from there and they were saying that like my old school is going back. Like the, the city have postponed schools, so they weren't meant to be going back until like next week anyway but then they're gonna have another week um because of the virus so a lot of my friends um like my the foreign of the foreign teachers who the foreign teachers who worked at my old school a lot of them are abroad so like if they're, they're visiting home or they're like on holiday so they're just making sure they stay away for for now um but other people who, you know, I think they're meant to be going back to school on Wednesday and now they're not going back until the Friday after, until a Monday or two, two Mondays afterwards. Anyway, I'm rambling. My point is, is that it just makes me quite concerned because a lot of my friends are abroad, but a lot of the local staff aren't. They'll be in Tianjin. You know, there's some um, friends of mine that stayed in Tianjin for the holidays um, because China during Chinese New Year is so busy, there is so much travel and this is like the, obviously having a virus spreading around the country is never a good thing but this is the worst possible time it could happen because Chinese New Year is manic, people are travelling the whole time and it's just such a bad time anyway because it's just going to make it worse. Um, so I'm just worried about like, I've spoken to Jessie, she's fine, her family are fine. Um, some of the other TAs that I was, uh, was friendly with are all fine, so that's good. But, you know, it just makes me panic a bit. And, it, and at the same time, like, I do feel like I'm really fortunate not to still be there because this could have happened this time last year. And the thought of, like, um... Oh, bless it, sorry, I'm just this is just texting me. Um, the, the thought of having to stay in the apartment for three weeks straight because you're not because no one's allowed out so i'm talking to jesse and she's saying like no one's allowed out all of the restaurants are closed all the shopping malls are closed everyone is staying indoors and that sounds awful like yeah anyway i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna figure out what we're doing today so basically i think i mentioned last week but monday but thursday and friday were inset days so we had um no, today was meant to be an inset day. So an inset day in a primary school, if you don't know, is when all the teachers come in for training but the children stay off school. So that was what today was meant to be. Um, but because the government closed all the schools Thursday and Friday last week, they kept the school, they reopened the school today for the children because all the children had had two days off last week and they thought it was only fair for them to be able to come to school. So. We have school, we're not allowed to teach new concepts because some children won't be here and we don't want parents to be upset by that. Um, so we have school, I only have two lessons anyway, and then after school we have like a two and a half hour inset type thing to catch up on that, like the inset that we missed. So that's the plan for today, it's a busy one. I'm not sure how many kids I'm going to get because I feel like a lot of the kids probably have planned stuff to do today, like to go away for the weekend. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. Yeah, that was a bit of a somber way to start my vlog. Sorry, guys, but yeah, I've just kind of like been thinking of it. And yeah. anyway, I bought myself a banana and I've had one of my Greek yogurt, so I'm going to have that for breakfast now. Figure out what I'm doing for lessons today because I can't do the maths lesson that I'd originally planned for tomorrow because we missed lessons last week and we're not allowed to teach new concepts. 
so I'm gonna figure out what we're doing today and yeah I shall see you in a bit hi guys so it's now lunchtime. i just want to quickly check in so i was halfway through having my salad and i was like oh i know i'll quickly talk um yes yeah, so it's now lunchtime. my normally i have two free periods on a monday morning but so basically i think i mentioned before today was meant to be an inset day so all the p staff are actually out on like a first aid course so um we have the children were meant to have swim in this morning but their teacher isn't in so they end up staying with me and finishing off some work from last week um, and then I had a free period, sorry, then I had a free period and they went to music um, and I just got some bits and bobs done, I got my planning done for the rest of the week because I was meant to finish off my lesson plan on Thursday and Friday last week, but I wasn't in school. So I did that, then I had a maths lesson and then I just had a meeting, now I'm just having my lunch. And yeah, today, when the children come back after lunch, I am gonna get some t have some time to finish off some artwork that they've been doing and to finish off some history work they've been doing. After school, the CPD that we were meant to be doing yesterday, there's like three elements of it. There's like one that's like a, a data protection type course, which is really important that we do because um, the company that we work for say that we have to do it every year. So we are doing that after school today. So I'm not finishing school today until about quarter past four. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the plan after school from quarter to three till quarter past four. So it's not too long, but that's after school. And then this evening, I think me and Callum might go out to, there's a bar near where we live that do a really good deal on um, they have happy hour every day but they also have really, a really good pizza for like 199 back or something like that so i think we might have that i'm not sure um but yeah we'll see we've got loads of stuff to do as well we've got loads of like actual work to do for our blog so we might end up doing that i'm not sure we'll just see how it feels but anyway i'm gonna stop talking finish off my salad and then i need to mark my maths books So it is Tuesday morning, it is seven o'clock in the morning, just got to school and um, yeah, hi. <laughs> Last night we ended up having a massive working evening because a client had emailed us about something to do with our blog so I ended up doing that most of the evening and then when after that, <laughs> sorry my colleagues, um, yes, so I did that and then um, went just had like a, a nice evening after that. We actually found a peri peri chicken place that ordered that like delivered food, so I ended up having that. Um, but yes, and then sorry, there's like loads of kids outside today. It's like seven in the morning. Go home. Anyway, um, but yes, and then today is I don't mind Tuesdays actually. I find Mondays I have two free periods, but yesterday the kids stayed with me. Well, I have three free periods. But I only had two yesterday because the kids stayed with me until they're going to swimming. Um, but today I have like maths and literacy, which are quite hectic. But then I have a free period, and then I have reading, which is a very kind of calm lesson because we were reading The Boy by Roald Dahl and was just reading that. And then we have lunch, and then I have another free period. So it's quite a chilled out afternoon. The first lesson is maths. Yeah, the first lesson is maths, and I find like maths can be a little bit hectic. Uh, which reminds me I need to actually sort out the worksheets for that but yeah I find that maths can be a little bit hectic a little bit kind of um, busy just because I have a I have well I don't have a big class I have the same class as I have normally but I just I don't know I think maths is one of those lessons where I'm like running around the whole time helping children 
and then literacy is a bit calmer. To be fair, in literacy at the moment they're writing biographies for their character for their person they've been researching and it's quite nice because I put on some nice relaxing music and they write and it means I can like just sit one to one with one or two children. Um, yeah, so quite nice, it's quite a nice lesson. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking and get on with some work. So yesterday I probably showed you I was marking my maths books. I've marked most of them but I still have a pile left that I need to mark, like three or four books I need to mark. So I'm going to do that today so that they can do their next steps in maths today. Um, but yeah, and then, um, well, yeah, I think I might watch, I, I quite like watching teaching vlogs, but it sounds really stupid, but I always like watching teacher vlogs. Huh? Yeah, what are we doing for busking? Sorry about that. One of my colleagues came in and I just remembered. So this week is busking week at my school and the children sign up for different days where they can busk. Um, it's like a music event that we have here. But today is like a teacher adult busking day to kind of set an example of how to do it. And I forgot that I'd signed up with two of my colleagues and we were like, I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> But one of my colleagues helps with recorder club, so I think she's going to play the recorder and we're going to do a little dance next to it. It's great busting skills, I know. Okay, let's go then. So I had a really good morning. Children had a really, ni had a really nice few lessons with the kids. Spent my free period catching up on some bits of marking and making sure everything was sorted for the week for planning. And then I had reading. And we're reading The Boy in like, the Roald Doll book, The Boy. Um, and the children are really enjoying it. It's really nice actually. And it's nice because they're at a stage now where they're a bit more confident to like read out loud to each other and share ideas a bit more. So yeah, it was a nice lesson. Um, and then I had lunch, and to be honest, I forgot to get myself lunch this morning in 7-Eleven. Normally I run in, and I ran in, and they have like these salads there, and I was gonna get a salad, but they didn't have any salads left. So I got myself a yogurt, and I was like, oh, that'll be fine. <laughs> and I forgot like that that wouldn't be fine to do. Um, <laughs> so I got myself a yogurt, which I haven't actually eaten, so I need to eat that in a minute. Um, but I knew that I was gonna be more hungry than that. So I went to 7-Eleven, which is just outside our school, um, and I got myself a toasty and an ice lolly <laughs> because one of my colleagues was like, I fancy an ice lolly, do you fancy one? I was like, yes I do. So we ended up going over to get ourselves an ice lolly and a toasty. Um, so then I came back and I realised that I had, we have like these maths intervention groups at lunch times. Um, everyone in year six does like one session a week with like the children in our class that need extra support. So I did that with my class. I had like six kids in and I completely forgot about it. Like they had just finished it. Like they weren't waiting for me, so it was okay. But as I was walking in, they were walking in behind me like, oh, we've got maths today. I was like, oh yeah. So I ended up eating my toasty and having my eyes solid whilst looking at dividing decimals. Um, but to be fair, it was a really nice little session because I tend to, for a lot of the children that struggle with the concept, I love, oh my God, what is my camera doing? There we go. What is it doing? I think I'd bring my camera too near my face. I've learnt this, sometimes I edit videos. Is this even focused? Sometimes I edit videos and I realise that the camera's not focused on my face and I think it's because it is too, the camera's too far away from me. <laughs> the camera's too near to me. Anyway, what was I saying? Right, so, yeah, I had a good lunch time. I was doing some nice work with the children. We were looking at, I tend to like do some practice questions on the board, model something, there we go. And that seemed, they seemed to like understand it really well. And they were so cute, like they got so excited because they figured out how to divide decimals. Like how we were looking at, one of the things we're looking at at the moment is like how to divide a remainder so that you can turn it into a decimal. Um, and they were very excited by this. 
Um, so yeah, they worked that house through that, which was great. Um, and then they had, I gave them 10 minutes extra so like they can go out and play. And I just kind of sat and did some bits and bobs. And now they are all in languages. They have been for like the last 25 minutes. And I was just sitting here, I've been quite productive, got quite a lot done. Um, and I was sitting here like, do you know what? I was sitting here like, do you know what? I probably should vlog because I haven't like said hello for like all day, like all day. So um, yeah. Anyways, I'm getting quite distracted, so <laughs> but one thing I will say actually, after school today I was meant to have a staff meeting and I don't have a staff meeting today because we had a staff meeting yesterday, like a CPD yesterday, so we don't have one today which is great, so it means I've got a bit of extra time to get a few bits of mobs sorted and then I'm going to head off at like half three probably, um, so that's nice, always good to hear that. Um, so I'm going to get on with some work, um, but yeah, I've got a nice little setup here. I've got, I marked all my books, so I'm up to date on all my books, I'm up to date on all my planning. So I'm just doing kind of like bits and bobs of admin-y type stuff. So then when you just have those odd jobs that you just keep forgetting. Like we had parents evening last week and I have loads of like random requests from parents. I'm like, oh, can I get this and can I get that? So I'm just kind of catching up on those little bits of jobs really. So it's quite nice, like it's quite, you know, chilled out. So I've got a nice little setup going and I've got my laptop, my home laptop, like my Mac that I use at home, I have here because I find, I don't know if anyone else does this, because I'm so used to like copying and pasting stuff on that, making, like I can't figure out how to, you know like, so that what I'm trying to do is for example, I've, I've got a PowerPoint app for maths, well like a, what's this called, a smart board thing. And I want to copy and paste a question that I found online into my PowerPoint, but I can't like, my, the print screen button on my keyboard doesn't work. And on the MacBook, I know that I can press command four and then just drag over it to like copy the bit and then copy and paste it. And it's so much easier because I've learned all the shortcuts on my Mac, but I don't know how to do it on Windows because I haven't used a Windows computer in ages. So I find it so much easier to do all that stuff on my MacBook and then just convert it over, which I feel like in the long run, just learning how to do it on the Windows is probably a better way of doing it, but it's really not, <laughs> like it just doesn't work for me. So I end up sitting here with my MacBook open, my Windows open and like doing it. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now, I'm gonna get on with some work. I shall see you in a bit. Good morning guys, it is Wednesday, it is like 10 to 7, sorry, I'm going to do work whilst I talk to you because it's one of those days, Wednesday is like my busiest day by far. I have, um, I have a full day of lessons, so I have my normal lessons, um, I have like literacy and spag and today they're doing the writing assessment, so I need to get stuff ready for that. Then they have a math skills lesson, which we normally use for like an arithmetic test. My kiddios did not quite get there with finding percentages of a number yesterday. Luckily we have another lesson today, but like today's lesson is meant to consolidate and do problem solving with it. So what I'm gonna do is recap it again today in math skills and they can finish off the work they didn't get done yesterday before their math lesson next. Then I have science. This, this term, I'm not enjoying our science topic this term, I'm gonna be honest. This term, we're looking at evolution and it's quite, an interesting topic it's a topic in year six that hasn't been done at the school before so all the stuff is new i've never taught an evolution before and it's like very heavy going it's just one of those topics that's very heavy going um also and then we have lunch and then they finish off their topic lesson after lunch and then they get to sing for half an hour so that's the only time i kind of have free all day but one of the problems we have is so i'm just getting stuff ready for lessons and um, one of the problems we have is um what other thing one of the other things i have today it is busking week busking week is a weekly thing that we have like it's not a weekly thing it's a yearly thing that they have our school and each day different groups of children will be busking so yesterday we have parents and adults today we have all the dancers so the dancers are meeting in the dance studio in about five minutes so i need to hurry up <laughs> um but they're all meeting in there we've got like so our school have two dance squads um and then some other children that do like separate dance classes um so the dan one dance squad is dancing today and then they've got a big competition on the week next weekend so there's like a, a duet and a solo so they're going to both be performing today because it's the first time they're to perform their dances in public 
and I know they're very nervous about it, bless them. Um, so yeah, that should be interesting. We'll just see how it goes, I think. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah, so I need to go and see the kids in a minute, um, get stuff ready. I don't really know what we're doing for the writing assessment because it was to I was told I was doing a writing assessment, but I'm not entirely sure what we're doing. I need to look at the lesson plan. One thing I will say, like, I was talking to a lot of my friends in the UK and um, a lot of people will teach, there'll only be like one or two people in their year group, so they might be by themselves or they might have like two or three classes. In my school we have seven, so there's seven year six classes in my school, which is great because it means that I don't have much planning at all to do. I plan one lesson and actually because I plan maths, um, me and my colleague will like do alternative weeks so I, I really don't have to plan as much as other people do at all which is great um but it does also mean that often you're in a lesson you like you have to make sure you're communicating and find out what's going on um and like for example we normally have our planning meeting on a friday like we should have a meeting where we share all our planning <coughs> we normally have it on a friday for the week after but because of oh no, a Thursday, but because the school was closed last Thursday because of the um, pollution, we didn't have that meeting, which means I'm a little bit kind of ski whiff on a few things that we need to be doing. So yeah, I need to just kind of figure out what that assessment is because I haven't really had a chance to look at it. Um, but yeah, that's my day. If I do anything exciting, I'll let you know, but I'm just gonna crack on because I have so much to do. <laughs> um, Okay guys, so it's now break time and my new year's resolution is to try and show you as much of what actually I'm doing in class because I realise that's probably the interesting part of me just moaning. Anyway, this morning they did literacy assessments so we have been reading the book, The Boy, this book. We've been reading Roald Dahl, The Boy and they've just read the chapter about, oh, great opening there, The Great Mouse Plot. So they read this chapter about uh, Roald Dahl as a child putting a rat in a gobstopper sweet jar in his local sh like sweet shop and then they had to write a diary entry as if they were Mrs Pratchett, so the woman who is in the sweet shop, who owns the sweet shop and she finds the rat and then comes in the next day to their school to get the boys in trouble. Um, so that's what they were doing this morning. Uh, I'm gonna sit down and mark these, but I'm probably gonna wait until after school because I like to do them all at once. I will kind of order them from like the weaker writers to the stronger writers, just because I feel like it gives me a bit more of a bench line. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do it after school. Oh hi guys, so it is now lunchtime. I've had such a lovely day today. Like Wednesdays are normally like quite full on. I don't have any full lessons and like I don't have any free lessons until the end of the day where the children have half an hour of singing. And I appreciate you know I've actually been watching more like weekly vlogs of UK teachers and I watch them and I'm just like I moan so much considering the lifestyle I get to have compared to what it would be like in England and I feel sorry I genuinely watch it and I'm like oh gosh I need to stop moaning it's <laughs> it's just ridiculous I think here I'm like because I've worked now abroad at international school for three years I'm really used to having free periods like having at least one free period a day to like just catch up on marking and bits and bobs and like I do think compared to like teaching it like obviously teaching is never easy and i'm not gonna like compare how easy one is compared to the other or anything like that i don't think teaching is easy at all i do think there are a lot of extra stuff that we do at international schools that i didn't really think about when i was in the uk because we just didn't have the time to do them um but i think my like work-life balance i know my work-life balance is so much better here than it was in the uk and i do watch vlogs and I, I find them really interesting watching people's vlogs like weekly vlogs teaching in england and i just don't know how people do it because i just i felt like i don't know i felt like i just couldn't go back to that lifestyle now I, I mean i really like the fact that i can be home i do come in early like i do come in at like seven o'clock in the morning so i'm up early i come in early um 
but I do kind of leave by like four, half four, sometimes five most days. Um, but I mean, like I get to I get to go home and not work, and then I spend the weekend not working. So I mean, like when I when I, when I go home. I blog, I do a lot of blog work, but and you know, I vid ed edit videos and stuff like that, but it's my own kind of thing. I don't have to like do teaching stuff at home. And I just, I really feel really lucky for that. Anyway, um, but yeah, Wednesdays is normally quite tough. Going back to what I was saying, Wednesdays is normally quite tough in the sense of it's a really full on day. They have literacy and then spag. So we often end up kind of focusing doing a big kind of spag input in the literacy and then doing an extended right type lesson today we had a written assessment so that was fun and then we have math skills and then we have a math lesson so we end up having like an hour and a half of literacy an hour and a half of maths and then by that point the kids are pretty sick of me <laughs> like they do kind of get a little bit like because they're used to having me for an hour and then going somewhere and then having me for an hour and then going somewhere that type of thing on a Wednesday it's a bit, I think we all feel like it's pretty hard going <laughs> and then often on Wednesday break time because they have math skills and then the math lesson in math skills we'll recap something that's going to help us for actual lesson so often they'll come in at break time and ask for help with it as well so yeah it's quite full on but then we have science just the hour before lunch we have science and then after lunch they come back and have another half an hour session of science and but I always find with science maybe it's just because science isn't my thing as well like I wish I was good at science I wish I could understand science more but it's really one of the subjects that I need to work on um, but we're doing evolution and I think I mentioned before but it's a very heavy topic at the moment um, it's, it's very wordy it's very kind of like complex um, I've never taught it before the kids have no idea like they've never looked at this type of thing before so I think it's taken them a while to, it's taken us a while but today was really nice we have they had their assessment this morning and then we had a really productive maths lesson and the kids really benefited from it which is great and then the science lesson it, I think we got to that stage where we were like oh we know what evolution is now they kind of got it I think it was just one of those lessons of like oh great and then they got, we did an activity and I was like this is an activity they're not going to be able to get done in time like it's going to take them ages they all pretty much finished it I have a few children they're going to have their lunch and there's a few children coming back just to finish a few little bits and bobs because they need to catch up um, but generally speaking they're done so that's great um, but I just wanted to kind of show you, I feel like I haven't, don't really show you much of my actual working life. So I thought, I thought I'd show you a few little bits of stuff that they've been doing, just in case you're interested. So first of all, I actually want to show you these because I give out smelly stickers a lot. My children love these. So these are smelly stickers. I'll be honest, I bought them in a pack from Amazon in the UK. Um, and they have like, these are ones that have like the fruits on them. And then these are ones that have... Um, like great well done but they smell so if you have a look here it says like scented so these smell of um, cola like coca-cola and these smell of chocolate and these smell of uh, this one is a strawberry one um, and then they like I have this one over here which is a cinnamon one um, and there's lots of like different ones in here and they kind of come in this little bag so yeah, these ones are like raspberry ones. They come in this little bag to keep them so that they don't kind of like rub off and stick on each other. Um, but my kids absolutely love these. So I do use them as an incentive. Like if they're helping other children, they get some of these stickers. We have reading record books, which are so, like these are a copy of, I'll just show you a quick example. This is someone's reading record book. Um, and they have to kind of like this this child won't get a smelly sticker because they haven't really explained their comments or um, interesting words but if I find a child that will let's have a quick look so this child here um, has written like it words that she's learnt from this story and then has made comments because she's using this book properly I'll give her a smelly sticker it's quite difficult in year six because a lot of kids just get on and read um, and some children are a bit like oh I don't want to read so it can be quite difficult to get them into that habit but I do use smelly stickers to bribe them a little bit because I think sometimes they they love these so much that anything that I can do to help them and then I thought I'd just quickly show you some of their science work so this is actually some work they did last week and they were finishing it off they've been finishing it off in the mornings but basically we looked at like these different theorists this is all stuff from Twinkle so we use our our science curriculum all comes from Twinkle um, but we looked at these different um, theorists and we compared them and there's like th th these are six of them but there's quite a few on them I think the PowerPoint on Twinkle had like nearly 
I think there's about 20 of them. Um, and basically we ordered them. So this is all of the natural people that believed in natural selection. And the children kind of pop, stuck them down, summarised them in their own words, and then they found definitions of anything that they weren't sure about. And there's some differences and similarities between the different opinions. So they have one of these for each of the different um, types. So what I'm going to do is photocopy these today during lunch so they can stick these in their science books. So I will mi minimise them so they can be smaller and we'll stick them in. And then today in their science books, if I just quickly show you, so this is what we did at the beginning of the topic and they wrote down the definitions of what they think it was. This is some of the words that they've started to learn what they are. Um, this is what we were doing. We did this last lesson about adaptation. Um, and then today we're looking at evidence of fossilization. So they're looking at kind of the order of fossilization and sticking in some um, descriptions. And then up next is what we're going to be doing this afternoon is we're looking at fossils, evidence of evolution. So they've got fossils and so this is a fossil. So my lowers will probably do this one. Um, but we've got a few different examples, but basically it looks at a fossil of uh, a leaf and then what it looks like today. And they're just looking at the similarities and differences. Um, like I said, I think it can be quite difficult with this type of topic because unless they have it in front of them, it can be very hard to tell from a photo, but they're going to be looking at the similarities and differences um, and how that relates to evolution. But yeah, so we've got this one and then there's also... Ah, uh, here. We've also got like a fish one as well. Right, I'm just going to go heat up my lunch. This is something I picked up from 7-Eleven this morning. It is a noodle dish that I really like. It has like pork, egg and spinach in there. It's really tasty and it fills me up as well, which is the important thing. I know, I know I need to be more organised and make my lunch myself. But when you can get something like this, which I find really tasty and really filling from 7-Eleven for like 40 back, which is like the equivalent of a pound. You can't really go wrong. So I'm going to go heat this up, get on with a few bits and bobs of work and finish off marking their reading records. Right guys, so my kids have gone to singing um, and I have just got some time now to just get on with some work. They literally only have singing for like half an hour and then they come back for 15 minutes with me. Um, today, because they managed to finish all their science work, what I'll probably just get them to do is watch a bit of news round. I try my best to get them to watch news round as much as possible because I feel like being in international school, it's so important for them to know what's happening in the world. Um, but also they really enjoy news round and we just don't have time to watch it every day. But I do try to, like Wednesdays is a good time because they only have 15 minutes coming back from singing. So it's a good one to like calm them down after a singing session. Yeah, so I've got, I've got, I've got like half an hour. I'm gonna try and start marking these um, assessments. So basically what we, are, we do at our school is two stars and a wish. We do this on like big pieces of rice and we don't do it every day. My old school actually, we ended up doing like a two, like a, we didn't really do two stars and a wish as much, but we always had to do a next step every single day. And I will say like, it was horrific. <laughs> like I did not enjoy doing next steps every day because I just felt like for marking, especially when the kids, like well, when the kids are younger, like, I feel like it shouldn't, next steps and stuff shouldn't really be a thing. But when they're older, like they should be able to, um, reflect and, and work off feedback but at the same time doing a next step every single day is just a waste of time because I feel like if I can look at their book and know that they need to work on dividing decimals then it's much easier for me to pull them aside at lunchtime or in the lesson and go through it again with them rather than spending ages marking and giving next steps. Um, so I do, I do do, do next steps but it's normally like at the end of unit for maths for literacy we do next steps after they've done some type of like writing assessment but also if we do lessons and they do like a writing piece then as well um, so I'm going to start these it's going to take me a while like I'm not going to get them all done in this half an hour I'll probably get like one or two done um, but I'm going to try and get it as done as well, well as I can with their next steps I know what they need to work on for this term they do another assessment after the holidays um, so we can compare so hopefully we can see some improvement but um, yeah it's gonna get going see you in a bit
why hi guys so it is now I'm gonna pop you down here so i can get my stuff ready it is now uh eight o'clock so what you just probably watched was a time lapse of me doing my hair and makeup because we needed to take some photos for the cover photo of the youtube channel for creative travel guys so i did that this afternoon then i got a blog post done for that bangkok live now i'm having dinner but i felt like i wanted to vlog this <laughs> because we found a Thailand version of Nando's. Woo -woo. They found a place called Peri Peri. They only do chicken, so actually I think they do beef burgers as well, but they do chicken, Peri Peri chicken. I'm hoping it's exactly like Nando's. Fingers crossed, so excited for this. <laughs> So Cam, I've got half a chicken and chips. I have got a chicken burger and chips. It is like a lemon and herb burger, so here's my sauce. And we've got a side salad. Looking forward to having this. Good morning, guys. So it is now a Thursday. It is seven o'clock exactly. I, the pollution's been a bit funny. Last night was quite high. So I feel a bit like, I don't know, swallowing today. Then when I get like that, I don't think it's a sore throat, but I don't know, I feel a bit swallowy, but I did pick up some of these from 7-Eleven. I'm hoping they're just like Hall's tablets you get from home. I don't know if they're actually any good, but I just figured if it does develop into anything more than swallowy, then I can have that. I also picked up a health guard face mask. Um, I popped to 7-Eleven this morning to get some water and a banana. Sorry, can I just take a moment to point out this is how you get bananas in Thailand well how you get bananas in 7-eleven 7-eleven have just changed because the government have changed their policy to no plastic bags so it's all reusable bags um, which is great but they still have their bananas in a plastic bag like this um, but sometimes like I just grab one in the morning because I just like having a banana for breakfast and I don't always remember to um, get a bat, like a, a pack when we do our like food delivery. Anyway, I picked up a banana for breakfast, but I also picked up a health guard mask just because obviously if you've been watching the news, the coronavirus is in China. It has spread to some places in Asia. Our school and Thailand have been really vigilant about it from the sounds of it. It's under control here, but I just kind of feel like if I feel like I'm getting a cold or anything like that at all, I'm going to put this on just because I feel like it's not really fair on anyone else, um, in case it is anything like that. Um, but just precautions, you know, taking precautions. Um, but yeah, I need to finish off marking my papers. So I marked most of my writing assessments yesterday after school, and then I got a bit of a headache. So I stopped that, went home. So I have three more to do, so I need to mark those. Um, and then I just need to get a few bits and bobs ready for the day. I will show you what we're doing today in a minute. Um, but yeah, it's not too much of a stressful morning because there's no kind of activities this morning. There's like a basking event outside at half seven. I think they're doing, I think it's like the, the musical people, <laughs> like the STA band and stuff like that. The school's initials are STA by the way, sorry that sounded weird. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to watch that in a later on, but I'm going to get on with some marking first. Okay, so I thought I'd quickly show you my lessons for this, for today. So we have maths to begin with. Do we have maths? No, we actually have literacy. I'll show you the maths whilst it's up though. So this is our maths work. We do five a day or we do next steps depending on where our class are at. We use Maths Shed and we use Classroom Secrets. So these are two kind of companies that we use that we get lots of resources from. But today we're looking, we've been looking at finding the percentage of a whole number. Today we're looking at calculating a missing percentage of a whole amount from a percentage. So there's lots of different like starter activities that talk you through. We're looking at bar modeling because the children haven't done much bar modeling. Um, and as a year group, that's kind of our focus this year is to look a bit more at bar modeling. There's a few examples on here. And then we move on to some kind of more problem solving type stuff. So this is more uh, visual representation because I think that's something they really struggle with and it really helps with that mastery of the skill. Um, then we have different types of questions. And then once they've done that, we have, we use the classroom secret, se we use the classroom secrets worksheets 
um, but we don't actually print these sheets off. They all have iPads, so they will open which one they want to do. So they have, um, this is VF1, VF2, VF3. Sometimes we will, we will use RPS, which means um, reasoning and problem solving. VF means fluency. So the fluency questions are just questions that they can do to practice the skill and make sure they really understand that skill. They know that they do the A side and then they do one column. If they're still not happy with the skill, they can move on to B. If they feel happy with it, they can go on to problem reasoning and problem solving. Um, and the reason it is done with one, two and three is that is it's differentiation. So children can choose between which level they want to do depending on how they feel at the time. Sometimes you'll kind of like push them towards one or the other. But generally speaking, the kids are pretty good at knowing. Um, and then the, all the um, answers are on the PDF so the children can come and sit on the carpet and mark each other's work. And we can talk through anything that they weren't sure about, which is great because it saves me a lot of time for marking as well. Okay, so after the children have literacy, so in the morning they have literacy, they're going to be doing their biographies. So they have chosen somebody significant to write their biography about so you've got some children doing like Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, Rose Parks, I think someone's doing Barack Obama, uh, I do have some children doing people like Ronaldo and Taylor Swift, whatever they want to do about they can choose um, but yeah they do a lot of research about this person and then they write a biography about them as part of their literacy project and then for art, so we have literacy to begin with, so they've written their biography and then they just need to um, edit and type it up today. And then for art, they have to draw that person. So we've been looking at drawing proportions and features of a face and today is like the time that they're going to practice drawing those features of a face specifically for the person that they are going to be drawing a picture of. Um, so that's our art lesson. So we have literacy, art, then we have maths, which I just showed you, and then we have ICT and reading. Reading, we're just going to carry on reading the boy. We need to get the book read by the end of next week, um, and we are halfway through. So we're going to carry on reading that. Um, and then for ICT, we're going to do some coding. We use uh, code.org forward slash learn because it's a really easy website that they can use and it talks you through how to code. The children love it. There's lots of different types of activities on there. So we'll be doing that. And then I have a free period because the kids go to languages. Um, we do have a planning meeting in that time, um, but that's fine. We can get on with a few bits and bobs as well. Um, but yeah, that's my day. It's a pretty chilled out Thursday. I don't have anything to do at like break or lunch time. Um, but yeah, so that's my Thursday. Well, hi guys. So it's now lunch time, exactly 20 past 12. 12. I had a really nice little morning. I did, what have I done today? I feel like it's gone so quickly. We had literacy and the children were carrying on with their biographies, then we had art, then we had maths, and you know what, we, we've been doing percentages of a number and then we kind of reversed it today and we were giving them, if like 10% of a number is 12, what's the whole number? Um, and it really made them un try to like, they, they were good at finding a percentage of an amount because they knew how to work it out, but they didn't really understand the concept of it. So this force, forces them to understand the concept of it. But Thursdays are, a bit, for Thursdays are always a bit funny because, sorry, what's going on today? I feel like I've just spent all day talking. Um, Thursdays are always a bit funny because Fridays they don't have maths, so they only have Monday, they only have four lessons of maths a week. So Fridays they don't have maths. So what I like to do on a Thursday, because it's normally the end of like a unit or the end of a section of a unit, whatever, I go through their books um, and just kind of check all of their bits and bobs. Obviously I do it every day to check they understand stuff, but if there's any like big gapping holes, because normally Thursday is like a problem solving day anyway, if there's anything that I'm like, oh, they don't understand this, um, then I can pull them in on a Friday to go over something like, we, on a Friday we have kind of a, it's quite a nice day we have one lesson that's like a reading lesson and then one lesson that called P, we have like PHSE and golden time type thing in the afternoon so it means that I, can, I have got time to like pull them over and work do any like little interventions if I need to I also have 15 minutes at the end of every day as well so basically what I tend to do on a Thursday is 
try and mark all their books during Thursday lunch times so that I can then see them at the end of the day or tomorrow morning when they come in. That's my aim. Does anyone else's desk look like this? Like, this is actually a clean version of my desk. So, I have an iPad which I have taken from a child because they are banned from using it. I have a book for a child that's coming back at lunchtime because I spent ages marking her book and she didn't do any of her next steps. Um, remotes for random stuff. Uh, my badge. Oh, this, I think if you watch my vlogmas, you probably saw me buy this. This is um, a gingerbread latte smelling uh, hand gel from the Bath and Body Works. I bought like a few little, little ones of these. This is like a Christmassy one, um, but it smells really good. And to be fair, when I put this on, children like right in the back of my classroom can tell that I've put it on because it smells quite strongly, but I love it, it's so good. And I will say, little hand sanitizers. It, it actually has lasted quite a while. Like I've used this since I came back. Um, and I've kind of only used like half of it and we've had like two weeks here so it does last for a little while but I think having hand sanitizer gel here like I, obviously I thoroughly wash my hands before I eat anything and obviously after going to the bathroom that's a given but before I eat anything especially when you work with children you have to wash your hands but I also put this on as well especially if children are a bit like germy and they come near me <laughs> so I have that my big bottle of water because I don't drink enough water so this kind of forces me to make sure I try and drink some this is my lunch I think I showed you the same thing yesterday because I'm literally having the same thing that I had yesterday because it was really good and it filled me up I've also got a yogurt actually in my bag so I'm going to take that out in a minute and then this is what I was talking about before I've just printed off a load of these and kind of chopped them up um, and it's basically just a this there's a sale on a shop all prices are reduced by a percentage and they have to work out the new price um, so I'm going to stick this in some of their books as their next step some of them like I, they won't all have this this will just be for people I know can move on to this level some people might have something a bit harder some people might have something a little bit easier or have to kind of check their work but that is what I'm about to do I think I might pop on some YouTube whilst I do it though just to keep me going keep me going through <laughs> Well, good morning, guys. So it is a Friday, and as you can see, I'm wearing this fetching red polo top. So I'm just logging into my computer whilst talking to you. Um, it is house day. So on Fridays, we have house day, which <coughs> on Fridays we have house day, which basically means we all wear our house colours. The children and teachers are all in different houses. So we have to wear our house colour t-shirt and they do like house events and competitions and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so that's why I'm in this t-shirt. But yes, it is a Friday, thank goodness. I'm just gonna have a little rant for now. So if you don't wanna hear my rant, then just skip forward. Maybe I'll put the minutes in if I can, depending on how long this rant is. I don't know, I actually can't rant for too long. It's just my battery's running low, great. Um, so, little rant. 
coronavirus, obviously quite important thing, quite a dangerous thing. Because of that, our school and other international schools in Bangkok have announced, announced yesterday that they all kind of came together and made the decision not to be part of or not to run. Um, like, we often do these like cross school activities and events, so like swimming competitions, dance competitions, all of those types of things. All the schools have said, you know what, like all let's do it all together so that we don't have parents complaining but all you know all of the schools are pulled out from these big competitions and stuff like that just because as a precautionary method I know that from what I read on the news by the sounds of it all of the people that have had the virus have been treated and are getting better some of them have gone back to China um, and from what I know it hasn't spread any further obviously that can change we don't know um, but this is just a precautionary thing anyway it was announced yesterday we have a dance competition next Sunday there are lots and lots of children involved in that dance competition I am on a group on my phone of people who um, are involved like of parents and stuff and I spent most of the evening trying to calm the situation down because obviously we have very angry parents about it and I just feel like Oh, I feel like I'm worried about that. No, it sounds ridiculous, but one of the things I worry about most as a teacher is just parents. Because I appreciate, like, I completely get it. I'm not a parent myself, but I completely understand that you want the best for your child and all of those things. But as a teacher, especially when it comes to stuff that's completely out of your hands, it's really difficult because I don't want to disappoint children, I don't want them to be upset, I don't want to disappoint parents, but at the same time, like when it's a situation like this, there's nothing we can generally do, and I can't go against the school and be like, oh, well, let's do it anyway, because that's my job. <laughs> so uh, it's really it's really difficult, and I don't know, I just felt a bit stressed last night. But anyway, over that, it's a Friday, I will probably... <laughs> One of my children are being silly in the window. It is like seven o'clock in the morning. It is a Friday. The children have an assembly this morning. Um, so I will drop them off at assembly and then I have got a little bit of time to do a few bits and bobs. And then we have a free period, but all of the teachers are coming together to finalize residential trip uh, places, like what rooms they're in. I think I've done a rough version of it already. Um, but this, this is actually another email I had last night complaining about it. So we'll see, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, so yeah, so we've done that. And then, what else is there? What, how, what is my day today? I felt, sorry, I felt so like, I think yesterday kind of threw me off a little bit. I felt a bit like, ooh. Um, not what I'm trying to say yet. So then I have reading and spelling. And then in reading, we're reading the book, The Boy. We need to kind of keep reading it. So we're gonna just keep doing that. And then in spelling, I'm actually going to give them time to finish off typing and writing up their biographies and doing their timelines because they're so behind on it. Um, and I can give them their spelling work as homework, so it's okay. Then I have literacy, so we've got like a Macbeth lesson. And I have lunch and I'm on duty. And then we have PHSE and where we're going to do some like team, team activities and then CFT, which is like golden time. So that's my plan for today. Looking forward to the weekend. This evening we're having a night in and Callum is making us chops, like pork chops, because he learned a Gordon Ramsay recipe two weeks ago and then every week since I've been like, I want chops, I want pork chops. Um, <laughs> so we're having pork chops for dinner. He'll be making us dinner this evening. Um, I think I might do like a bit of a, a tidy up, just like, the thing is we're, we're quite tidy people, but things like, dusting the floors and mopping the floors I genuinely hate doing and I don't do it that often and it kind of needs two people to be there doing it to like move furniture out of the way and stuff like that so we'll probably do like that tonight just to give the apartment a little spruce up before the weekend not sure what we're gonna do on the weekend there's a bar that we want to go to it's called a place called Lao Garden which is like a, a restaurant but no actually I'm actually gonna be doing I'm gonna try it for this week and you can tell me what you think I figured that my week and my weekend is, not, is quite different. My weekend often centres around blogging, but my week normally centres around work. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a weekly vlog in the sense of Monday to Friday and show you my teaching life. And then I'm going to end the vlog today. I will still show you a bit more later on today. Don't worry, it's not the end of the vlog yet. But I'll probably do a Monday to Friday vlog. 
and then if I do anything exciting on the weekend, I'll do that as a separate vlog, it'll go up at another point. Um, but work, yeah, let me know what you think about that, because I feel like every weekend I'm like, hi, and often on weekends, we sometimes go out, but we often are doing work because we're really focused on our blog at the moment, so I just feel like there's no point filming the same thing every weekend. Whereas teaching obviously changes every day, we do different things, so you might be a bit more interested in that. Anyway, let me know what you think about that. I'm gonna stop talking, get on with some work, charge my camera, see you in a bit. Hi guys, so it's now 20 to nine, I've just ran back. Um, okay, yeah, so I was just checking my emails. Uh, I've just had, we just had half an hour with the children and they started doing their portraits. They have been looking at proportions and drawing features of her face. So now they're doing portraits of the person that they're doing their biography about. Um, so yeah, we started that today. We need to finish it by the end of next week. <laughs> I'm not sure. But does anyone else have this? Like, if you're a teacher, tell me if you have this. I feel like I always have these, like we, as a year group and as a teacher in general, I have these grand ideas of what I'm going to get done. And I always feel like I'm catching up with stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, everything feels like it, t it takes longer to teach than it should do. I don't know. I always feel like, oh, yeah, you know, they can do this timeline in a lesson. And then it takes them two lessons to do a timeline. And you're like, ah. Oh. Anyway. I feel like I'm at that stage where we've got loads of stuff to catch up on. Um, but yes, we did that and now they've just gone to assembly. So I've dropped them off at assembly, come back. I've got 20 minutes now before they get back and then they go to lounges anyway. So it's not the end of the world. I don't really have too much to worry about. Um, but yeah, I'm going to mark my literacy books. I think I talked a bit to you yesterday about their biographies. They have been writing biographies. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> they've been writing biographies about their the person that they've chosen so I've marked three of them um, I need to mark the rest of them um, and get, get on with it really because we have a literacy lesson later I want these to be marked by then so they can do the next steps um, before the weekend just because then I feel like next week I won't want to like it feels like we're moving on to Macbeth so I feel like let's finish it off today and get it done on that note I'm gonna stop talking and I shall see you in a bit Hi guys, just a quick one, finished my duty and it's now like five minutes to one. I'm going to very quickly have my lunch and have my yoghurt um, and just take ten minutes to myself. Maybe, like, I might put some YouTube on or something. <laughs> but it is busking week this week so um, I have a group of children outside my room doing some TikTok dance or something and they kept like going into this dance in the middle of my literacy lesson and now I understand why because they had plans to do it for Baskin week. Anyway, so I'm going to eat this, pop outside and try and watch them for two minutes and then it'll be the next lesson. So I'll see you in a bit. It's the end of the week. So it is now 20 to three, the kids are gone. We finish on Fridays at half two, which we finish every day at half two, which is just beautiful. Um, but yes, we finished at half two and I've just dismissed all the children. Um, now all I have, and I'm sure I actually managed to mark all my literacy books, all of my spelling books. Um, yeah, I was on a roll today. Like I feel really, sometimes on a Friday, I don't know if anyone else gets like this. I don't know, on a Friday, I always feel like zonked out. It's a very British word to use, jumped out. I always feel shattered, like I'm so tired. And I sit here on a Friday, and because I don't have like, we have quite relaxed, not, not relaxed lessons, but because we have like, we have an, we normally have an assembly, but sometimes we don't, so like a catch up time. Then I have like half a spelling lesson, and then I have half a reading lesson, that often kind of becomes like a, let's catch up on bits and bobs lesson. Then after lunch we have PHSE, which also sometimes becomes a, let's catch up on that thing that we need to do type lesson. Then they have CFT, which is meant to be like golden time, but often is, let's catch up on that. Um, <laughs> so, because it's one of those things, often on a Friday, I'm just like, 
oh. and the second the kids go home I just have no energy but for some reason today I'm like woo yeah let's go so yeah I've got a bit of energy today which is great um I'm gonna head home soon I to be honest because the because the day's just finished and there's no after school clubs today well they often do have after school clubs not run by teachers but run by external vendors um like other people that come into our school but we don't have any of that stuff going on at the moment for like competitions and stuff like that because of the coronavirus stuff they're cancelling a lot of stuff sorry about that guys just as i was like woo end of day all the kids are gone one of the kids came back in and was asking me for help with their ipad so now it's the end of the day it's now 10 to 3 i am literally logging off my computer now because i'm gonna go home i i'm gonna order myself a grab um grab is like bangkok's version of uber luckily i don't live far from my school which is always nice um yeah but because we haven't got anything after school um so a child's wandering around outside. I think I mentioned before, but my classroom has like windows on either side, so it's like being in a goldfish bowl. Um, and the child's just wandering around outside. But every so often, they catch my eye and they pull a funny face. I feel like it's because they think I'm crazy because I'm talking to myself. Anyway, um, yes, because it's Friday and it's I don't tend to leave straight away just because I feel like trying to leave at the same time as all the kids is just a little bit silly. So I'm going to wait another 10 minutes probably and then order a grab and go home. Um, but everything's done to be honest next week. Next week we've got mindful mindfulness week. Um, so we have like, we've got like different activities for the kids to do. Um, and actually next week, every break time, I might not vlog as much as I normally do, but every break time I am um, doing mindful colouring. So I actually just print off a load of like mindful colouring stuff. I found a load on Twinkle um, and I've literally just got loads of it so all year three, four, five and six can come to my classroom at break time and do some mindful colouring, I'll put some relaxing music on. I'm tempted to see if I can get some lollipops or something like that but I feel like that's just a little bit too far. <laughs> but I'll put some mindful music on and they can do some colouring at break time if they want to. Anyway, that's my plan. So I'm going to stop talking. I hope you like this video. This is a slightly different format to my normal videos. Like I said, I will... I think what I'm going to do is do a weekly vlog Monday to Friday and then if I do anything exciting on the weekend I'll put that video up on a Saturday. So this video will be going up today which is a Friday but like this video the day it's up it'll be like last Friday that I filmed it but if I do anything on the weekend then I'll put that video up tomorrow so your Saturday when it goes up yeah I think but if, if nothing comes up it's because I didn't do anything interesting. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> um, but yeah I just figured I think maybe people might be just a bit more interested in watching teacher life and then expat life as two separate things because they are kind of two separate aspects to my life I guess. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking, I have two minutes left of my SD card because I've talked so much. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day guys, I'm going to be putting this up on a Friday so I hope you have a lovely weekend, let me know in the comments below if you're doing anything exciting, thank you so much for your love and support as always, take care and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, bye guys.